All right, Stern, you're next. Leg cramps, tension, headaches, ingrown toenail, prickly heat, and occasional bedwetting. Bedwetting, Stern? Yes, sir, only when I'm nervous, sir. Uh-huh. Well, I tell you what, Stern. When you get to basic training, you give this little note to the supply sergeant. Supply sergeant? That's right. That's an eight-week supply of rubber sheets. Oh. Wait there. They asked to see you together. What are they, a couple of Siamese twins? No, but I get the feeling that they're joined together from time to time. Well, send them in. Shut the door. Devlin? Yes, sir. Is that a check mark? What? Well, that's kind of hard to say, sir. It looks more like a smudge to me. Well, it's your application, boy. Now, what are you trying to say? Are you or aren't you? Because if you are, you're going to have to sign a statement verifying it. Am I or, or aren't I what, sir? Well, you can read, can't you? Oh, yes, sir. Oh. Well, see, it doesn't say, am I or aren't I? The way that it's worded is, have you ever had a... I know what it says. And what's your answer? Well, that depends on how you would define an experience. What's your problem, boy? I have no problem, sir. Well, it says here that you uh, want to be with Devlin throughout your entire tour of duty. Yes, sir, that's correct. Well, what do you think we're running here, boys camp? I understand perfectly, sir. It's just that, well, Danny and I have been together ever since grade school, and, and, well, if we couldn't remain together, I'd just die. I just don't think I could take it, sir. You don't understand how it is. Hey. But the can of BS, all right? Now, do you boys want to go in the Army? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Wait, 
told you there was nothing to worry about, Elliot. Oh, you know how it is. Every time I want something real bad, I never get it. Oh, I know. Oh, but this is going to be so marvelous, just living with all those guys. Hold oh, it. Are you a homosexual? No. no. Perish the thought. Do you ever wear women's clothes? No drag queen, Doctor. Why not? Too embarrassed? I just think it's a bit much. Young boys or mature men? I think when you really love somebody, that age shouldn't matter at all. How about you? Do I get a choice? Do you favor or? Sex has nothing to do with love. I think it's much more how you feel about the person. How about you? I believe one should remain receptive to one's partner's needs. Inhibitions have ruined more marriages. What do you think of her? Oh, those are heavenly beads. What do you think of her? Hair is too long. about when you look at something like this? Well, muscles have never been my bag, but... And you? Oh, now that's nice. Do you mind if I keep it? I don't have this one at home. board will notify you in two or three weeks of your reclassification. Does that mean the Army doesn't want us? Not at this time. However, if we uncover any additional evidence that changes our opinion, we'll reclassify you 1A. Counted so much on going in. What are we going to tell our friends? Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something, Devlin. comes the young counselor. Hey, Danny. I really should ignore him. Uh, how are you? Dad? Hi. That old million dollar knee, right, son? Whoever would have thought that old track injury would show up at a time like this? I'll bet it won't keep you from running around a little when you get up to Stanford, will it? Uh, well, actually, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time to do much of anything. I hear they keep you jumping pretty good up there. Stanford? That's my alma mater. Say, before you accept any office, Dan, I want a chance to better the deal. Agreed? Agreed. How about that, Danny? You haven't even cracked your first law book, and already you've been guaranteed a position with one of the finest firms in the city. It pays to have friends in high places. What are your plans now, dear, now that Danny has his deferment? Are you going to keep flying? Oh, yes. I've, um, I've asked the airlines for a transfer up to San Francisco so we can be together as much as possible. Uh, we're going to get some sun, okay? Excuse us. Have fun. Okay. 
my you know, when I was his age. <laughs> Gee, I didn't know he had asthma. Maybe that's what you've been mistaking for passion. I really don't see what you all see in him. Well, as Lover Boy says, if you haven't tried it, don't knock it. Big brother, and how's the old me? Uh, tricky, very, very tricky. And this fool says to him, but Sergeant, I've just been there, and they sent me back here, and I just don't know where to go anymore. I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, Elliot. Excuse me, Sergeant. Oh, there he goes again. He's so jealous. <laughs> You have to pull that fag routine around here. What's wrong, Danny boy? We're out. I realize that. I just don't want anybody getting any ideas. OK, you don't get spastic over it. What are you doing later? You just have to take Karen out to the airport. Why? Wait till you see what I've got lined up for you for a little after I've seen at my place. My gift to you for spring is free. OK. No, I think that, uh... My, that boy seems popular. Your daughter certainly adores him. Yes, doesn't she? You know, I'm glad Daddy cultivated Elliot's friendship. He needs to be with somebody more outgoing. He has a tendency to be on the shy side. Going up to celebrate your victory, Devlin? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> be that genius Elliot was telling me about. It must be my little surprise. Uh, where, where is Elliot? Doing his homework. Uh, can I fix you a drink or something? Oh, no. Oh. And I'll make you that drink. You relax. <laughs> your problem? Am I too fast for you? No, as a matter of fact, you're not fast enough. You've got to leave. Ah, uh, no, you got you got to get it. Take your purse. You've got to get out. Come on, no, it's going to be a bust. The police are outside. Well, why didn't you say so? You can tell Elliot. Oh, uh, yeah, go. right, right. Backstairs, please. Stairs checking the apartments. What? Just get dressed. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look, Elliot, if you don't believe it, you come look for yourself, okay?
do you know it's him? I saw him downstairs checking the mailboxes. Okay, so we're having a little celebration party. With girls? You know what he said about uncovering new evidence? Will you get her out of here? Okay, sweetheart, get dressed, huh? I can't. Just do as I say. But I can't. You've got my dress on. Oh, dear. Look, Ellie, what... Will you get dressed? That's what we've got to do. Now do it. Look, Elliot, there's no other way. That's what we've got to do. Not here. The lady who pays the rent doesn't dig roommates. Okay, we move somewhere else. Look, I can't even afford this setup, and I only pay for the groceries. Look, don't sweat the money. That I can handle. Look, how can I walk out on her now? She's going to buy me a car. Oh, wonderful. Why don't you go get your tail shut off in Vietnam, and she can buy you a wheelchair? Oh, I don't know. I do. No, this, uh, this area is just right. Exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I have quite a few other listings I think you'd find far more suitable. I have a place in Malibu and a couple right above the strip, right no. up here in the hills. No, no, no. No, this is just uh, fine. It's just peachy. Oh, frankly, fellas, I really don't think you're going to like this place. It's rather sedate here, and the tenants, well, they tend to be more on the conservative. Fellas, uh, I have several of my very best friends are members of your faith. Uh, would you look at this cottage? I think you'll find it rather unique. Well, here we are. Uh, kitchen here has all modern appliances, all gas. Look at the breakfast stuff. Isn't that tastefully designed? Beautiful view, and a real fireplace. Look at that. The bedroom is up this way. Now, now for the coup de grace. Of course, if you'd prefer something in a two-bedroom uh, No, no. One bedroom is right. Uh, why don't you fellas have a look around, and I'll wait for you downstairs. Look, Elliot, I don't want this any more than you do, you know? It's bad enough I gotta live here in fairyland. Now you want me to share the same bed. You're forgetting something. You see, we're supposed to be living like, uh... Yeah? Well, like, uh... 
Lovers. Swell. And what'll we do for a nursery when the little ones come along? It's for you, sweetie. We'll take it. I think it was a terrific idea. It'll give him a chance to sow some oats before he has to settle down to those law books. <laughs> Best thing he could have done. I suppose you're right, but I still don't understand why all the rush. The least he could have done was discuss it with us. Well, you know how boys are. They uh, get ideas in their heads and... Uh... Mr. Evelyn? Well, I think he could have shown a little bit more taste in choosing a roommate. <laughs> Well, don't you think you owe me some kind of explanation? We'll talk about it sometime, baby. Hey, baby. When do I get to try the new workbench? Not until the decorator's through, darling. The color scheme clashes with your hair. Elliot, be a dear and put some of this on my back. Sure, Marilyn. Uh, Charles will be away this weekend. Same thing as well as always. Sorry, love. I'm taking my sabbatical. I take a few weeks off every seven years, whether I need it or not, to recharge my batteries. to give these broads. We've got to talk this thing over right now and make other arrangements. Elliot, there's nothing to talk about. I told you, I think I saw that colonel downstairs question one of the neighbors. Yeah, well, right now, he's not my problem. You know, if I don't get a kiss two, three times a day, I get a complex. I realize that, but you're gonna have to learn to, excuse me, live with it. Yeah, well, how about if I motel it with him? Wrong. Yeah, but if I explain to them that no. We... No. Look, Elliot, we can't see anybody, we can't tell anybody. We've got to live like homosexuals. Look, I don't want anybody even accidentally tripping us up, you know? Uh, if they're going to start sending investigators around and me... Hi there. I'm Malcolm D. John, your landlord. I live across the courtyard. Oh, I'm Danny. Oh, how do you do? I'm Elliot. Well, pleased to meet you. You are the muscular one, aren't you? <laughs> I just adore this cottage. And I decorated it myself. Isn't it elegant? It's you. It's really you. Oh, thank you, dear. to just getting started? Oh, well, actually, you see, um, we're, uh, we're newlyweds. Oh, how wonderful. I must tell Craig. Craig, my better half. 
Or at least he likes to think he is. But then, you know how men are. Beasts, all of them. Aren't they, though? You know, if it weren't for this dreadful feeling of insecurity that I've had all my life, I'm not sure that I ever would have gotten married. I was willing to live in sin. Yes, well, I prefer living in California myself. It's time for me to feed my peonies. Your what? Ah, uh, Elliot, those, those are flowers. Flowers, right? They certainly are. I have the most gorgeous peonies in the entire country. I bet you have. I'd like to see them sometime. Well, I bet you would. Toodaloo. Uh, Mr. DeJohn. Uh... Malcolm, Danny. Malcolm. Malcolm, I'd uh, like to thank you for the fruit. You're welcome. And I hope that you can come on over and have a drink with us sometime. Oh, we'd love to. I'd love to meet Craig. Well, I'm sure he'd love to meet you. Ciao. Oh, don't you believe that? Elliot, you don't put on people like that. It's people like that that go to the draft board and blow the whole thing. Temper, 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 temper. Elliot! 98. 99. 100. You know, it's a good thing the Army turned you down. You'd never make it past the barracks scene. What's your problem? Afraid I'm going to see a precious little bottom? Or are you turning into a silly little closet queen? Just like my privacy, that's all. It's just a big game to you, isn't it, Elliot? Well, what else can you call it? Oh, the fact that they're probably watching the house at this very moment doesn't seem to worry you a bit. Shh. Probably have it bugged. They bugged the place? Absolutely. Well, that's funny. Ha <laughs> ha. See, living with you is just going to be a series of bad jokes. Well, I'm going to keep the, uh, the side by the phone, OK? I'm expecting a long distance call from Karen. We've got a date tomorrow night. Oh, that's just great. I thought you were the one that was all uptight about the no broads routine. Well, yeah, I am. It's, it's just that. Well, you know, I, I don't want her to get suspicious. Uh, she doesn't know anything about this, and... Well, how's it gonna look if I suddenly pull a disappearing act? After all, I am engaged to the girl. That's a cop-out, buddy, and you know it. Expect me to play it straight while you're out with your check. Oh, well, that's different. You don't owe those dinglings of yours any explanation. That's different with Karen. Uh... Look, if, if I can just talk to her over dinner, you know, and try to fix it up so she doesn't get any ideas... Uh... And what am I supposed to be doing meanwhile? I don't know, you could, uh, read Playboy or, uh, do some push-ups in front of the mirror. You could build a model airplane. Oh, you're just a sweetheart. Peace. A lover should never go to bed angry. <sighs> Look, Elliot, I... I'm sorry. I didn't know this thing would get this heavy. It's not turned out anything like I planned. I figured uh, once we snowed them down at the draft board, that was it. Ah, forget it. But there's something you ought to know. Hmm? You're not the first man I've ever gone to bed with. When I was a kid, I used to sack in with my father. <laughs> Good morning. 
Could I borrow a couple of eggs and some oregano if you have some? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Oh, thank you. I was in the middle of whipping up a little surprise for Craig, and I ran out. I can't make this dreary. My God, what's happening here? Oh. <sighs> Looks like you had a fist fight with Julia Childs. Yo, I'm, try I'm trying to make breakfast. Uh... I'm really not too much of a hand in the kitchen. <laughs> Say no more. I understand, darling. Oh, when Craig and I were first married, I didn't know a thing about cooking either. I used to dress a turkey in Levi's. In fact, on our very first wedding anniversary, Craig gave me a cookbook and I gave him a stomach pump. <laughs> Why don't you run upstairs, darling? Let me take care of this. Oh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to put you in any trouble. Again. It's no trouble at all. Now, come on, run along. Shoo, shoo. Come on, let your fairy godmother get her wand working. Thank you. You're welcome. interior decorating landlord uh, came over to borrow some eggs and he's offered to cook me breakfast. Oh, really? You two are getting awfully chummy. Better watch out. Craig's liable to get jealous. Oh, no. Malcolm's just being friendly. Oh, sure he is. I mean, he hasn't tried to touch me or anything. I bet. Anyway, I bet he cooks better than you do. Doubt it. Hercules. Why don't you go sit right down? Breakfast will be ready in a jiff. No, I gotta rush. Oh. oh, it smells terrific. Well, of course it's terrific. It's my secret recipe. Montezuma Madness. Maria Montana served it to her lover and the son of the Cobra Queen. Malcolm, take it easy with the kid. Don't spoil him. He's tough enough to live with. Oh, Elliot, I wouldn't dream of spoiling Danny. It's hard enough with Craig. He loves my cooking, so I practically have to beg him to take me out to a restaurant. You know, I think I will try a little. I knew you couldn't resist it. Neither could John Hall. You're not going to eat my omelet like that. You're right. What do you need? Oh, wait a minute. Caramba. What a place. It's so quaint. Hi, uh, what are you doing here? Well, we thought we'd stop by and see how you two bachelors were making out. Oh, we're just making out fine. Sure looks that way. I may even move in here with you for a few days myself. <laughs> Great. Uh, the door's open. Thanks, Elliot. I'm 
Malcolm D. John, Danny's landlord. Well, I'm Danny's mother. Oh, well, uh, how do you do? I'm Danny's father. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Mom, Dad, Dad, what, what, what are you doing? Well, we just happened to be in the neighborhood, thought we'd stop by. Oh, well, I came over to borrow some oregano, and Danny was lost uh, in the Mal kitchen. Malcolm offered to make me breakfast. Well, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> Danny, I love your cottage. It's so, um... <laughs> well, uh, actually, we haven't had uh, a chance, you know, to straighten... Malcolm, are we keeping you? Oh, no, no, not at all. Go, why don't you show them the cottage? I know they'll adore it. Danny, what is this? Oh, it's a statue. Of, uh, two wrestlers. But they're not wearing any clothes. Right. Well, you, you know how the Greeks do it, then. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, it's a lovely place. It's so quaint. Oh, I must call Dolores and have her see this place. Uh, Mom? Uh, it's so messy upstairs. Uh... Oh, that's all right. Everything all right, Danny? Need any money? Barney! Oh, no, no. You must come and see this. Dad, about the bedroom, uh, it's not exactly... Well, well, I never expected anything quite like this. Uh... Yeah. Uh, well, you see, uh, two women lived here before we did, and we haven't had a chance to change it yet. Yeah. They had rather strong taste, didn't they? <laughs> Where does Elliot sleep? Elliot. Yes, show me his room. Uh, well, no, that, that's not his room. See, this is, uh, this is the bathroom. Well, it's a one-bedroom apartment, but uh, we're going to get a, a couch for downstairs that pulls out into a bed. That's good. Uh, th that belonged to the girls who lived here before. Well, Dad, you've, uh, you've seen it all. Yeah, I'm sorry you and Mom couldn't have stayed longer. Mom, would you excuse us a second? Listen, Dad, I wanted to talk to you about the color of the room. You know, pink. Well, I don't like pink either. Uh, we're going to get some brown paint, and I think it'll look really good. Uh, dark brown, huh? Oh, Mrs. Devlin. That's one of Freddy's, isn't it? Freddy? Freddy Brach. I'd know one of his designs anywhere. Why, yes. I didn't know men appreciated such things. Well, not all men do. Uh, listen, you know, uh, I, hope, I hope you'll be able to come up to uh, campus this fall, uh, see some of the football games you and Mom. SC is playing up there this year. But that color is yummy for you, and it adds a very youthful line to your figure. Oh, do you really think so? Oh, I do indeed. Danny's very lucky to have such a lovely-looking mother. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I was very young when Danny was born. I'm sure you were. Evelyn, I... I must rush. I have to get back to my souffle. So nice to have met you, Mr. Dijon. My pleasure. Uh, Danny, I put the omelet in the oven, and please try and eat it before it gets cold. <laughs> Au revoir, Mrs. Devlin. Isn't he marvelous? Yeah. Isn't he? Uh, Evelyn, I have to be on the first tee by 11 o'clock. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Danny. Dad? Thanks for coming over. I'm so glad Danny found such a lovely place. Karen's going to be thrilled when she sees it. And he has such nice neighbors. Thank you. Very good. Oh, honey, that sounds fantastic. Well, it's a lot better than living at home, I'll tell you that. Do you want another bread? Mm-hmm. But I'd like it over at your place. I'm dying to see it. Well, you will, you know, but... Uh, well, we just moved in, and uh, places are a mess, and things all over the floor. 
Oh, I wish we finally had a place to ourselves and I could cook and play house with you. Maybe just as soon as I start school, you'll fly out of San Francisco and live with me in Palo Alto. I know. I wish we could get started right now. Well, we could get started. What's happening back at your place tonight? Not much. Um, let's see. When Joyce is in Denver, Carolyn's in Chicago, and one of them is due back tonight around midnight. Now, that gives us about enough time. Uh, Danny, couldn't we please go back to your place? I promise I'll keep my eyes closed until the lights go out. I promise no, uh, I won't see a mess, please. Honey, look, it's, it's really a bad idea. Elliot's probably home, and... Look, you've got a flight tomorrow morning at 9.30 anyway, don't you? Mm. But next time, let's make some better arrangements. Look, I will next time. You just have to have patience with me. Things have been so frantic lately. Uh, I don't even know what's going to happen next. It's only a copy, but it's uh, Michelangelo's David. And I fell in love with it when I first saw it. As a matter of fact, Craig and I thought it would be kind of heaven for your living room. You know, I, d I don't want you people going to any extra expenses or oh, anything. Oh, nonsense, Danny. And I know exactly where to put it. You know, Danny, Home Beautiful wanted to do a spread in this cottage, but just the idea sounded vulgar. You know, seeing the two of you getting started like this is reminiscent of Malcolm and myself when we were first married. Oh, yeah? The struggle we had in the beginning trying to adjust. Well, you know what I say. Give a little, take a little. How true. God knows, Malcolm isn't the easiest person to live with. High strong, temperamental. You've got to watch every word you say to him. The slightest thing is liable to set him off on one of his tantrums. Oh, geez, I thought you two were made for each other. I know. But believe me, it hasn't been easy. It started off as the usual physical thing. You know, just a plain pickup. Been through it myself. But how long can one keep up these casual affairs. You get tired of cruising. It gets so depressing after a while. It's just the same old thing over and over again. It leaves you feeling so, so... Drained. Exactly. Before I met Malcolm, I was married to a real tramp. I couldn't trust him alone for a minute. The breakup was very messy. Oh, I can imagine. The anguish of trying to explain it to your friends, realizing all the time that she had probably been intimate with them. The utter humiliation of it. Well, you know what I say, love them and leave them. <laughs> oh, sure. Again, thank you for the gesture as far as... Isn't that lovely, the uh, statue? It seemed appropriate. Tell me, how have you and Danny managed to uh, make a steady thing of it? Well, we, I guess it was love at first sight. I guess. We took one look at each other and we knew we were destined for one another. How romantic. You never tell me anything like that. What do you expect after seven years? Omar Sharif? Yes. <laughs> I'm finding this place. Who are you guys hiding from? The FBI? Hi. Mwah. I hate to admit it, lover boy, but, uh, you know, you've only been gone a few days, and already I'm beginning to miss your homely little face around the house. How'd you find us? Well, your roommate invited Bunny over, and we were out shopping, so I decided to... Come along with her. You don't mind, do you? Oh, no. No. I thought I told you to call first. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Craig, Malcolm, this is my sister, Leslie. How do you do? How do you do? Hello. Hi. And uh, this is Bunny over here. Uh, hi. Why don't you just sit down? Oh. I'm sorry, Danny. I, I didn't know you had guests. Oh, well, we're not guests. You see, actually, Craig and I live across the courtyard. It's just one big family. 
Oh. Well, my mom told me all about this place, so I just thought I'd come around and look for myself. <laughs> Somebody uh, sure is queer for newts around here, aren't they? Oh, you sure did look silly in my dress the other night. <laughs> oh, dear. Bunny, uh, why don't we uh, go upstairs and, and look at the bedroom? Oh. <laughs> Daniel, why didn't you tell us that you have such a lovely sister? She's adorable. In fact, they both are. Oh, they're all right. If you dig girls. Well, I have a sister, too. Oh, really? Recently married. She married a lovely Olympic swimmer. Tell me. And the wedding was gorgeous. The best man gave the groom away. My father gave the bride away. And the fact that I wanted to be flower girl gave me away. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your decorator? Tiny Tim? My dear child, I decorated every inch of this cottage myself. Tiny Tim, really. Oh, dig this crazy bug bomb I found. <laughs> Sweet child, that crazy bug bomb is worth about $5 a squirt. Excuse us. I guess I can tell them we're not wanted. Come on, Bunny, let's get out of here. Oh. Hey, Bunny, hang around a while. They'll be leaving soon. Don't bother, Bunny. It's obvious you'd rather spend your time with your neighbors. Oh, come on, but... Terribly sorry about that. Oh, it's all right, Danny. Danny, I want to talk to you. Uh, would you excuse me a second, please? Oh, Certainly. Man. Talk about being uncool. Hey, now, wait a minute. Whose idea was it to invite them in the first place? Look, Elliot, I thought that... We had an agreement. That other one isn't my sister, and you obviously invited her over if they found the place. I didn't know they were coming over. What do you want me to do? <sighs> you had to invite them, because I certainly didn't invite them, Elliot. I didn't invite them. What do you want me to do? I don't know about you, but I'm hurting. You want them to hear us? What do I care if they hear me? Look, you can take this whole scene and shove it for my money. Look, if I don't start getting a little, I'm going to wind up a basket case. Why don't you broadcast it to the whole world? Where'd everyone go? Where do you think everyone went? Look, Elliot, if Malcolm and Craig think that we've been putting them on, they could go right to that colonel and spill the whole thing for us. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to go and try and straighten it out. Straighten them out? Impossible. Five dollars. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Hi, Craig. Hi. Listen, I wanted to apologize. Oh, for don't me. be silly. Come on in. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Who is it, dear? It's Danny. Here, take a seat. Danny. Hi, Malcolm. Hello. I, I love your rug. Oh, isn't Beulah heaven? <laughs> I trapped her under the sink. <laughs> uh, What's going on? Well, I, I wanted to apologize to the both of you for the scene that was caused. I. I had no idea that Elliot was going to invite anybody over. Well, Danny, first of all, you don't have to apologize. Good Lord, Craig and I have had our ups and downs, haven't we, dear? We certainly have. In fact, I was just telling Elliot that we fought that entire first year we were married. A year and a half. Would you like some iced tea? Uh, sure. Lover. No, thanks. <laughs> uh, just a little sugar. Certainly. Oh, 
Well, you and uh, Elliot seem to hit it off uh, marvelously. Oh, he's a very nice person. In fact, you're very lucky to have him. You know. Now, listen, lover boy. If you're going to make any sudden changes, I wish you'd let me know. I was writing out the check to your landlord when I found out you'd moved. Bedroom is upstairs, I take it. Yes, but you don't and understand. we've really got to hurry because I told Ben I was just going to get my hair combed out. You can spare me 20 or 30 minutes, can't you? Yeah, well, well, I meant to call you and explain what's happening. I'm sure you did. My, you have gone theatrical, haven't you, darling? Well, it came this way. All that's missing are the mirrors. Darling, you don't seem too excited to see me. But you don't understand. Danny's across the... I think I can fix that, then. Why did you get ready? You've got work to do. How are you, Danny? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Your mother was telling me about your lovely new house, and uh, I was <laughs> just passing by in the neighborhood, so... I excuse me. You stupid son of a bitch. What could I do? She barges in here and starts pulling her clothes off. It's only my mother's best friend, that's all. I just wanted to keep it in the family. I must hurry. This really is a lovely place you have, Danny. Bye. Your mother's best friend, huh? Well, let me tell you about your mother's best friend. She was paying my rent, and I think I owe her for it. Okay. Right now, I'm paying your rent, so you owe me. And you do what I say, no broads! You dirty bitch! Look what you've done to my peonies! You can take your lovely peonies and... And besides, you silly queen, they're not even peonies! They're marigolds! Good God! I think she's right. They are marigolds. I may not know my flowers, but I know a bitch when I see one! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, it's not funny. Can't you get it through your thick skull that we're being watched 24 hours a day? How is that going to look on the report they send in to us? Ah, she wasn't here long enough to wash her hands. That's not the point. The point is that we can't be seen with women. If they find out that we're faking it, we're going to be in Vietnam Monday morning. Can't we be ACDC? Oh, you're hopeless. No, baby, you are. You're playing this thing way too heavy. You've got to take it seriously. Well, I still think something should be done about it. I mean, that whole scene he's moved into, it's... Well, it's unhealthy. Now, calm down, honey. I don't see any harm in Danny having a little fun before he leaves for school. After all, he and Elliot are two normal, red-blooded American boys. Well, I gotta get out the club. Normal? You call that Elliot Crane normal? Oh. Daddy, I don't see how you can be so blind. Well, you have to admit my backhand has improved. Yeah, but your serve's still a lot of I didn't see you serving any aces. I think your serve is simply super sweetheart. Get your forehead and do something to be desired. <laughs> hey, Elliot, anyone ever tell you you're sick? Only my girlfriend, baby, and he likes me this way. Hey, uh, Elliot, I dropped my soap. Pick it up for me, will you? Not on your life, lover. It's not safe for us girls to bend down in front of all you big, gorgeous, pure aisles, isn't it? I want that boy fired, and I want him fired today. Oh, come on, Barney. You don't really believe that kid's a faggot, do you? Just because he's been kidding around in the shower room. If 
you'd seen his apartment and heard what my daughter told me, you'd know he wasn't kidding. That boy's as queer as a three dollar bill. Oh, Bonnie, for Christ's sake. As, as I'm reminding you, keep off the street. your problem. I was canned today. You're kidding me. What for? You tell me. Forster called me into his office and told me I was through. Said something about they're not really needing a lifeguard, that somebody's daughter was going to come in and give the kids swimming lessons. Said something about me being a bad influence on the kids or something. Considering what you've been doing to their mothers, uh, you might have a point there. Yeah? And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing, Elliot, nothing. Look, I'll ask my old man to find out what the story is, okay? Yeah, well, whatever. I've got 57 bucks to my name and no prospects. Don't sweat the money. That I can handle. I hope the whole thing blows over soon anyway. Look, I got uh, a date with Karen. You gonna be around? Yeah, well, if I am, it's not gonna be by myself. I'll tell you that right now. Wait a minute, Elliot. We've got an agreement, and you stick to it. I don't see it holding you back any, champ. Elliot. OK, just, just be cool, huh? Don't bring him back here. OK? Who'd marry her? Yeah, the same to you, buddy. Look, honey, you'll really like this place. It's a new place, and it's gonna be a good dinner. Come on. Kenny, no. I, I, I don't want to have dinner. I want to see where you and Elliot are living. Uh, you gotta be hungry after a, a flight like that. I'm not hungry. Danny, are, are, are you sure there's not another girl? Hey, what would I want with another girl when I've got you, huh? Look at me. You're all the girl I need. All right. Just the same, I, I want to see where you and Elliot are living. Uh, now? Yeah, now. I'm sorry. It's just that... Things aren't that way now. It's just different, that's all. Please, Phil, you can't end it just like this. Well, you know we were meant for each other. Not really, darling. How can you be so indifferent? I'm not being anything. It's not what I had expected. Everybody says that. Uh, you know, just moving in, uh, we're going to make a lot of changes, of course. 
That's Elliot's. Oh. Um, where do you sleep? I'm sleeping down on the couch and we're moving twin beds in. I'm sorry. For what? For suspecting you. I, I thought you and Elliot were living up here with some girl. Oh, well, now you know you're wrong. I'm sorry. I, it's funny, I've never been this jealous before. I, just... I don't want you to be jealous, because I'm all yours. Okay. Well, I tell you now, it was really Elliot I was worried about. I envisioned him bringing up all of his dingling girlfriends and the two of you having a... Honey, my taste and Elliot's taste in women is totally different. He likes them dumb and sexy, and I like them smart and sexy. Oh, is that what I think it is? Well, it looks like a fireplace to me. Does it work? No. No, oh, I mean, it's genuine imitation. Mm hmm We could fake it. That's, uh, that's one of our neighbors. What kind of a neighborhood is this? Yeah. Look, uh, you know, I'm really kind of hungry. Uh, why don't we go? There's a place a couple blocks from here we can walk over and get something to eat, huh? Well, you should change your mood fast. Well, you have to, uh, uh feed all your appetite. losing your job and all like that, for no reason at all. I know what it's like. They treat us like we were diseased or something. Oh, hey, Danny. Hey, listen, that's one of the gay bars all the girls have been talking about. Can we go in, please? Honey, what do I want to do going into a place like that? Oh, come that? on, I'll protect you. No, really, it'd be... Please, one drink. Come on, please. Look, a bunch of fruits hanging all over me. I don't need it. I had this great job, secretary to this big industrialist. And there's this big government contract on the line. What do I hear from him? Sorry, Freddy. Government clearances and all. I was out the door. And believe me, listen, I never did any playing around on the job. Johnny, when I was... How about another drink? There's one behind you, and he's wearing an earring. Shh. I wonder if they have a little girl's room in a... I seriously doubt it. <laughs> Second thought. Uh... What can Bruce give you that I can't? What do you got to understand? I can't. Elliot, what are you doing? Dan, come on over and join us. Who's that? Karen? What? Listen, you, I saw him first. Now, oh, wait a minute, gorgeous. I got a bigger kiss on. Hey, Elliot. Wait a minute. 
Why'd you do that? Ah, oh, the creep's been pawing me all night. Ah, oh, some queen tried to get on, fresh with me. And I just wasn't my type. Come on, let's go someplace and get a little drink. I think you've had enough. For me? Listen, booze or broads, there's always room for one more, I always say. <laughs> right, Elliot. What? Nothing, nothing. Forget about it, Come Elliot. On. Hey, Danny, I thought we had an agreement. Not here, Elliot. Why not? This is as good a place as any to get this thing straightened out. Do we have an agreement or don't we have Shut an up. agreement? Shut up! Hey, hey, Danny, what's he talking about? What does he mean? I don't know, honey. He's just drunk, that's I'm all. I'm not that drunk, lover boy. I remember you telling me, Elliot, baby, we're going to give up broads for the duration. It's just going to be you and I and our little... Elliot, I'm going to put you right through the wall. I wouldn't try it, lover boy. What the hell is he talking about, Danny? Don't, don't talk know. to him like that. I simply want Stanford. He's mine. All mine. Elliot! Elliot, hey, Elliot, he's yours. He's all yours. Karen! Karen, you don't understand. Karen! Karen! Looks like we're stuck with each other, love. Oh. oh, I don't understand it. He seemed like such a sweet young thing, too. Well, they just don't seem to make those sweet young things like they used to. Oh. Well, I just can't believe it. You wouldn't if you had been there. Maybe they kept arguing about being faithful to each other. I don't know. It was absolutely incredible. Faithful? Elliot, be faithful? That guy couldn't be faithful if his life depended on it. You know, there's something wrong with him. I mean, it's one thing to be in a constant state of heat, but with him, it's like, I mean, it's unnatural. Look, I'm not worried about Elliot. I don't care about Elliot. It's Danny. It's like he doesn't even want to be with a girl. Karen, you don't think there's anything wrong with Danny, do you? Look, I'm his sister, and if there was anything odd about him, well, well don't you think I would have noticed it before now? Ooh, I'm gonna be late. I've got a doctor's appointment. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Wait. Wait. Wait a second. Karen, it's not Danny's fault. If anyone's got a problem, it's Elliot, not Danny. I'll talk to you later. Now, where is she? All right, she went sailing. Sailing with who? Well, I, I don't know. Some doctor friend or other. Did she tell you where the boat was moored? Somewhere at the marina, I think. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, uh, you call me anytime you need help. Hey, man, I'm splitting for the beach. Uh, got eyes? No. I'm just trying to be considerate. Really, some people. Elliot, I don't want to hear you do that fag routine again. Do you understand? Uh... Look, Elliot, I... Yoo-hoo! Elliot! Elliot, 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 Elliot! You are coming tonight, aren't you? What? To the party. Craig and I are having a party. And everyone's going to be there, simply everyone. It's our annual costume ball, and you're supposed to come as your favorite camp character. Tarzan, Superman, Judy Garland. Well, you know what I mean. Of course. Come as someone from a fairy tale. You bet your sweet biceps. But all of our friends are going to be there, Elliot. And we want you to meet them because we know that you'll find them. Absolutely fascinating. Well, I'll tell Danny when I get back, but I doubt he'll come. He simply has nothing to wear. Oh, well, tell him not to worry. I'll find him something.
Doctor, what do you think? I think your friend has a problem. Well, well, what, what do you think she should do about it? Well, unless she's one of those sick types that prefers that sort of relationship, I'd say she should drop him fast. But he seemed so normal in the beginning. Latent tendencies sometimes don't show themselves until there's a crisis. What did they accuse him of? Oh, you're putting me on. Well, well did he actually try anything with the kids, or, or did he... You're kidding. My dad? Well, that's funny. He never said anything about it at dinner last night. What does Elliot usually do on his day off? Hi, we'll bring his little sister out here in a mask. Oh, well, uh, I don't think I'm so little. Do you? Not when you put it that way. Oh, well, I hear you're pretty good. I could have told you that. At uh, outdoor sports. I'm good at everything, outdoors and indoors. Well, then prove it. I thought you didn't dig me. Well, I can change my mind, can I? Hey, Elliot! Hey, one of these nights, I might just give you a call. What's the matter with right now? Well, I get in the middle of a game. <laughs> oh, are you looking for excuses? Elliot, you're breaking up the game! Well, uh, I think you better make a decision. Is it going to be them, or is it going to be me? What's it going to be? Huh. God, I guess you don't want to play with us anymore. Hey, come on, you guys. Let's go. You too, come on. Well, where did Danny go? I don't know. He left this morning. Do you think he'll be back? This wasn't such a good idea after all. What's the matter? You've got cold feet? No. It's lucky at Danny's sister. Oh, come on. It's not incest or anything. You guys are only roommates. Look, when you make up your mind whether you like girls or not, I'll be upstairs. To be careful, I think she's having me watched. Well, this is the last place I think of looking for you. Maybe you just don't like girls. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you think I know what you are? Huh? Uh, but... Can't uh... trust you for a second. Can... Leslie? It's true what Karen said about you. What did she say? Nothing. You two can kiss and make up for all I care. Never let it be said that I was a homewrecker. Nothing happened, Dan. Nothing. Yeah. Leslie! Leslie, hi. Leslie! Surprise, surprise, surprise. Have I got a girl for you? <laughs> Ta da! Well, didn't Elliot tell you? 
Danny, it's our annual costume ball, and it's tonight. It's going to be absolutely mad. I'm going to be heaven. Here, now, take this, dear. Now, I've got 5,413 things to do, and you're going to be stunning. <laughs> Bye. Transylvania, here I come. Get dressed, and I'll escort you to the party, personally. If that's the way you feel about it. This is Elliot, our next door neighbor. Hi, Elliot. How do you? Hi, Hi, Elliot. Dance? Oh! So thrilled you could come. Well, let's have a look. Fabulous. Fabulous. Simply fabulous. Well, you said to be imaginative. I certainly did. Oh. Indeed. Where's Danny? Oh, he's back in the bedroom sulking. I don't know what's eating him. Well, let's just go drag him out. Oh, uh, look, I, I don't know. I think we should leave him alone for a while. You know, he's simply impossible when he gets this way. I know just what you mean. Malcolm gets the same way when she's upset. <laughs> Come, let's have a drink. Where did you find him? Uh, him is our next door neighbor, Elliot, and he's married. Don't stain the carpet, Pagliacci. Go take your heart pill. Come, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot! He is a brute, isn't he? Yeah. But he's not going to get away from me tonight. I got a big investment in him. Honey, you don't stand a chance. You're hardly his type. <laughs> oh, and this is Myra Brokenbridge. Oh, charming. <laughs> cool, it. And uh, over here, this is Cleopatra. Hi. And this is Heaven. Hi, Elliot. And this is Judy Streisand. Yeah, she went over the rainbow. And somebody broke her nose. You Egyptian ass. Oh, and excuse me. Calm down. What? No, let me stop you. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this? Lord only knows. These parties of Malcolm were just impossible. Let me freshen up your drink. Love. Hi, honey. Remember me from the lush life? Blake ball. Sure didn't take you long, did it, honey? Well, she didn't have to be rude. Me some fag I met at a party last night.
God, it's so stuffy in there. I don't know why Malcolm insists on throwing those parties at his place when Dick is so much more suitable. Oh, Dickie's is divine. Mm. Mm. Oh, huh. it's, it's in there, sweetie. Well, I must say his costume is rather inappropriate for the theme. Oh, I don't know. I'd love to be a stewardess and entertain all those handsome executives. They'd never take you, honey, not with your legs. Oh, up yours. Coffee to your me. Danny. You're messing up my hair. Oh, it's nice and soft. Hmm. You're nothing but a... Well, what'd you expect, Anne Margaret? What's the matter, boy? Don't you like drag queens? <laughs> it's not that unusual. I talked to a doctor. He said that he... We've got to be away from each other for a while. So you can think about things. No, I don't need time to think things over. I love you and I want to marry you. Don't you understand that? I asked the airline for a transfer. I'm leaving for Miami. No, no. You... You were going to transfer to San Francisco. Well, like I said, I... I talked to the doctor. And he said that he thought you needed time to be alone. Without the pressures of trying to make a difficult decision. You needed time to reevaluate things. What you want to do with your life. Honey, I know exactly what I want to do with my life. I want to be a lawyer, and I want to marry you, and I want to have children. And don't, don't you realize that this whole thing is, is nothing but a hoax that Elliot and I dreamed up to avoid the draft? That we are perfectly normal? Honey, we're perfectly... Now, I'll show you that we're perfectly... Oh, Danny, Danny, please. There's nothing to prove. Hey, I understand. Elliot tells me you're stalking. Now, let's have none of that. Oh, hello. Craig, not now, huh? Please. Of course. I understand. Everybody seems to understand. Please do have met you. Look, honey. I've got a flight leaving in an hour. Can... Can I... Can I at least... have some place to, to write to you? I don't think that would be too good an idea. Hello. Danny, you naughty boy. Look. Well, you're not even dressed. And after all the trouble I went to to get you the outfit. Uh, Danny, um, come over if you want to, to the party. Excuse me. You never know what he saw in you. Get your heart out, honey. Grow some hair in your chest and I might give you a call one night. Yeah? I'll have that in writing. I love your beads. off of you for one minute, can I? Who well, wants a girl to do? Lock herself in a closet? You were supposed to be here hours ago. Look, that arm, Vince, you're hurting me. Are you gonna let him talk to me like that? You can do better than her, Vince. 
I know a real girl that... You bastard! You're a fine one to talk. You wouldn't even know how to satisfy a girl. Why don't you take your dress off and fight like a man? If she takes her dress off for anybody, it's going to be me. Why don't you get grabbing, Matt? Take your greasy hands off him, Miss Thing. You butt out, bitch. It is none of your business. Oh, you come with me, handsome, and let these girls work it out for themselves. Listen, sweetie, I told you last night. Am I going to oh, get beat up again? Now, are you ready to go home? Sorry for the tip. Oh, that's quite all right. Good night. Good night. I detest cheap notoriety. Well, so do I. But wasn't that punch divine? Tell you. I couldn't tell anybody. I was afraid that if they started sending investigators around, started questioning people, somebody was going to slip up and tell them that we were normal. I'm sorry you didn't come to me sooner, Dan. I'm sure a competent psychiatrist might have been able to help you with your problem. Dad, didn't you hear me? Didn't you listen to what I said? The whole thing was a hoax from the beginning to the end. Elliot and I are perfectly normal. Oh, come off it, Dan. What do you take me for? Don't you think I know about Elliot? Why else do you think I had him fired from the club? We can't have perverts like him coming into contact with our children. Those army doctors are no fools, Dan. It's their job to spot fellows like you with problems. I don't know. I thought that you were glad that I got deferred. Not that way. Do you realize this will be on your record for the rest of your life? That you'll never be able to hold any kind of a job requiring a security clearance? Did you ever ask any of your fairy friends what it's like to have a stigma like that attached to them? Did you? Huh? Dad, I'm trying to tell you something. Don't tell me. Tell your draft board. I'm sorry, Devlin, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's out of my hands. Don't you see that I'm admitting to you that the whole thing was a fake? That, that we just thought it up just to make you think? You don't seem to hear what I'm telling you, Devlin. Now, regardless of your intentions, you've been found unsuitable for military service. Now, in plain words, boy, Uncle Sam doesn't want you. Figures after the party last night. I wasn't even there. But I was. And it figures. You told me to be convincing, and I guess they just assumed. Well, it's like you said. It's better than getting your butt shot off in Vietnam. It just didn't turn out like I planned. Well, where to now? Back to your folks? It's the last place in the world I want to go. No, I'll go up north and try and find some place to live until school starts, I guess. What about you? I think I'll head down to Florida. I hear the Beach Boys do all right with the horny old broads. Will I see you before you go? No, I'm going to take off this afternoon. Well, hang loose, old buddy. This thing will all blow over. I doubt it. Those idiots, thinking that they could fool us. You really had them figured, didn't you, George? Well, that's my job, Joe. To weed out all the undesirables. We don't want their kind in the Army, do we, Joe? 